For God's sake, you got to give more power to the people. For God's sake, why don't you give more power to the people? There are some people that are starving to death. When you gonna get enough of them? Oh, yeah. Tell them like the water, mm-hmm. like the people's money and time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Tadija. Okay, let's get right into it, family. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Okay, a lot of us talk crap about America, and rightfully so, especially those of us who are native of this country uh, for generations. You know, we have the right, and we're doing it because we want to see America be true to what she said she was on paper, right? So that is the catalyst when we point out what we don't like about her, right? That's the that's the catalyst, at least for me, right? It's not because I want to destroy her uh, because this is a democracy. And believe it or not, a lot of us don't know what it really feels like to live in a dictatorship. We think we got one now, but we really, really... We really don't. It's somewhat, but nah. But we're heading and moving in that direction, okay? Which a lot of you know. So the Republican Party, for about at least, I would say since about 1990, maybe earlier, um, have been really formulating and transforming themselves. Into a more and more radical, more and more, not radical, more and more racist type of entity, right? Cumulating with Donald Trump and his shenanigans, right? So you already had the people warmed up. It was just like when you take a damn lobster and put it in some water and, and turn the, 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 the heat on low. And pretty soon he boil and definitely don't know. Well, now we're at a crossroads in America because we're about to lose democracy. Now, I was already telling my friend, if I'm going to be in an autocracy or I'm going to be in a place where there is no semblance of democracy, and that means you can't, you know, the things that what that happened before, there is nobody to, to uh, be like a watchdog over certain things that we've gotten accustomed to. Um, oh, like your rights. <laughs> oh, like certain way to do things. Um, and all that disappears. As you have seen, the civil suits have been brought down. If the dictator thinks that you can't, what happened with George Floyd and what happened with all that? If the dictator thinks I don't got time for that type of shit, then that's the way it will be, right? There is no semblance of you stepping out and protesting and doing, I mean, come on. That's not what we do. If that's the kind of society that we want. And we're on the verge of losing it. That's my point. My point is, the Republicans got to, they know how to fight. And you got to give them credit. Because they punch way below the belt. Way below the belt. And because the Democrats are um, pretty much uh, sold out. And they the different. The other side of that wing on that same bird that takes corporate money, and that's really why you can see Nancy Pelosi uh, making concessions. And actually, I think it's time for Nancy to really uh, sit down now, because I can barely understand what she's talking about. And uh, I'm gonna switch up a little bit before I get to my point. 
A lot of these people need to go. And a lot of these people, y'all can't be thinking straight, some of y'all. Who, how old is Donald Trump? And if he ran again in 20, in, uh, uh, 2024 or something, are you kidding me? I, I, I'm dealing with senior citizens right now. And their mind ain't right. I mean, really, really senior citizens. I don't care how sharp you think they are. They need to sit down and you need to pray, replace them with some younger blood. And maybe you can seek them for some counsel in the back on certain things. Not out here in front leading because it's too, it's too much. And not only I don't want to be age discriminatory because, hell, you could be saying the same thing about me. Remember the movie 14 or Fight? You don't know about that. Look it up. Um, so it's not really about that, but it's their ideology that's old. See, you can have a young mind and be of old age. But these people are relics, even in their thinking. And they're afraid to let some of this new blood in, and they're afraid to try a new way because they money depend on it. And who want their money cut? So the first thing we have to do as a, a Democratic Party, in my opinion, is you're going to have to call out all those corporate PAC Democrats and they need to be called out and they need to be purged out from the Democratic Party. This is the only way we have a chance to save democracy. This is what I'm getting ready to give you now. I'm getting ready to give you the blueprint. You can call me crazy if you want to. But here you go. This is the blueprint to save America. It's real. It ain't as hard as you think. The Democratic Party got to stop being a fake ass part. Okay? And like I said, you got to move those relics out the way that don't really mean nobody no good but to get a check for themselves. This is the end of the road now. Jig is up. We got to get those people out in front like uh, uh, Alexandria and, and Ilhan and, and, and uh, Ayanna Presley and, and not just the squad, but you got to, I'm talking about new blood. You got who else? Uh, uh, Raphael Warnock. These, uh, the other guy that ran with him. You got to bring some new blood in here and put them in positions. Put them in positions because we need their blood. Not this old blood that needs to be really purged out and really put out the pasture. Because these old that old gray mare is not what she used to be. Now, we are up against sharks in the Republican Party who have, you see, always taking making commercials with their guns, and you know, always trying to encourage um people that don't think like them. Uh, to be ostracized and killed. So my point to that is to break all that down because in my heart, I still believe that there's more good people. Maybe I'm naive, y'all. But this is what it tells me. This is what life tells me after this time. That's why Donald Trump didn't win by as much. And I don't know why the big lie keeps going because he didn't win. Nobody likes that kind of constant conflict all day and all night. Nobody likes that. It's draining. It's impossible. You can't live with a narcissist. You can't live with people that are insane like that. So, the only way democracy is to be the beacon of light like it said it was going to be when it robbed the African, when it slaughtered the Native American. When the European brought his ass over here, made all them lies, had all these people clear out the foundation for their shit. Okay? Yo jig is up. Now it's time. Now it's time for you to pay back the pauper. And you don't want to do it. Right? So either we're going to lose democracy or either black people, brown people, Gay people, disabled people, straight people, homeless people, the downtrodden people, the road off ones in society. If all of them 
join a demo, get registered to vote. All of them. Ones you don't want to be bothered with, really. The ones you play like you do, but you really don't. All of them. The homelessness. Go up and down Skid Row. Get them all registered. Let them know that they, if you can give all these, this money away to demagogues, and they sit back and laugh at you, and, and fat ass Donald Trump sitting there serving up McDonald's to people that come to the White House. Let me tell you something. You need, you need to get serious about democracy. And Joe Biden is is getting he's too old. Okay, he ain't can't last. Even though maybe because he did that uh, with that crime bill, maybe he can go out with a bang like Lyndon Johnson. You know, of course, you know, the white man always got his finger crossed. But this is going to be one time where you have to uncross your finger, bitch, or you're going to lose your country, bitch. Democracy is going to lose, bitch. And these people want to put us back in chains. <laughs> they want it so the police can do whatever they want to, qualified immunity. The hell is that? Kill you and make you pay taxes to a police force that brutalizes you, that kills you with no remorse, with, with impunity. Uh-uh. Either the system is going to have to be all-inclusive, Torn down, replaced with a system of justice, which is going to have to start in a democ in a democracy. So it's got to come from the Democratic Party. It's got to come from the Democratic Party. But if that's too much for you, if that's too much, then I'm gonna tell you something. We can kiss this shit goodbye. Because the sharks are coming. And they already been laying the foundation. Y'all sitting up here worried about through three, two, three trillion and one trillion. You better be looking at this shit because you ain't gonna get no trillions. Not with these people. We're gonna have to call it out now. And either you're gonna have to include, let me repeat that for those of y'all who didn't hear me. Black people, brown people, gay people, straight up, nope, you're going to have to leave your differences at the door. You, I, I, We don't want to hear it. The transsexual community, the uh, disabled community, all of them going to have to come up under the umbrella of a democracy. And if you ain't willing to do that, we're going to lose it. Because we've already been operating like Star, the, uh, that Dr. Seuss book, The Star Belly Sneetches. Where, you know, everybody is divided. Everybody is sit The division. Y'all thought it was smart? Those were the seeds that you planted? Now you, it's reaping time now. And it's a mess. It's a damn mess. So in my opinion, it's time for the seriously uh, old in your thinking. If you want to think that you old white relics is, is running shit in a sense that you don't, you, 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 you only take a part. You stole everything from inventions. So you don't run nothing. You steal things. And if the elite is still going to be in charge in the Republican Party running this thing, it's done. It's over. So the Pelosi's, the Schumer's, the Manchin's, all those corporate prac Democrats, get them out of there. They have served no purpose. They, they, serve no, they, they can't even pull a trigger. They can't even charge somebody. They sit back and compromise on every goddamn thing. That's why we're in the situation we're in now. Get them out. Get them out. 
Replace them. Replace them with people like Bernie Sanders. Because he could be the president any day if you ask me. Okay? I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Okay. Now, I can deal with that. I can deal with uh, him, that's why he gave, that's why the challenge with him and Hillary was so, was such a, uh, um, you know, race and they had to throw him out because free college, free tuition, no student debt. Come on. Y'all don't even know what it feel like, but then we can have leaders like Muammar Gaddafi who got killed, but look and see how he took care of his citizens. Look at that. But he was a dictator. And we get ready to go into that right now with somebody that want, don't want to take care of us at all. They already showing you. They don't want to give you nothing. Can't even get child care for women who work. Paid leave. Absence. Medical leave. All that shit. Look. Give the party back to the people. Or the alternative is to lose democracy altogether. Choice is ours. There, I said it. I know you don't like it. But um, tell me what you think. I'm always open. See you in the next video.